the gun I'm going to take out and fire at the range today. Here's the Mark II. Um, that's the Mark 257. I'm going to uh, probably blow off five, uh, 50 or 100 rounds of the American Eagle. It's uh, a round made by Federal. So um, I'm going to go ahead and shoot that out and uh, see how that, I'm heading to the range now. Let's see how that uh, fires out for us. And um, I've never fired this gun yet. This is brand spanking new. Thanks a lot. I, I polished out like the chambers and the barrel and stuff like that and some of the parts. So um, I'm, it'd be interesting to see how she runs and stuff. So thanks a lot, guys, and uh, uh, let's head to the range. This is the first chance I've been able to get the, the Newmark uh, 257 out to the range, and I'm going to take it and figure, put between 50 and 100 rounds through it um, and see how it runs. One thing I did notice uh, when I had the gun, I was, um, you know, had dummy rounds in the gun, and uh, I would... Uh, cock the slide back, lock the slide back, and then uh, put a magazine in there and pull the slide back, I, and it would, when I released it, it wouldn't go forward, so I don't know if that's going to be an issue, I don't know, uh, it might just be, you know, the rounds I had, but I tried it on two magazines, so what it would be is like, let's say I don't have a magazine in the gun, and I, and I cock the, the slide back and I lock it. And so then I put a magazine with bullets in it, and I pull back on the slide and let go. You know how like you would pull back on the slide and the slide lock would drop down? Well, it didn't drop down. I had to manually drop the slide. But I mean, after that, it was fine. So I don't know if that's a little glitchy issue or a break-in issue. I don't know. So I figure the best way to go out is put about uh, 50 rounds through it or 100. I can, you know, 50 rounds probably would be fine. I don't have to really waste 100 rounds uh, and try it and see if it cycles good um, and see how it runs okay. Uh, I don't really care about that issue part because I could drop the slide. I'm concerned if it goes back and locks. I don't think that's going to happen because I think once it cycles back, it's got enough power for it to go forward. But uh, we'll find out. Like I say, I'm headed over to the um, range now. And uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna see how uh, it works out for me. Got another five miles down. Um, Tucker's great. Cecil B. It's Florida Agricultural and Wildlife. It's some state land there where you can go for about three bucks and shoot. They've got uh, pistol, rifle, shotgun. Uh, it's an outdoor outdoor range. It's pretty much open every day. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, try this out and see how. Uh, this gun, this 5.7 Mark II, uh, functions here for me. Okay, so now we're at Tucker's Grade. We're going to make a turn here okay, onto Tucker's Grade in Green Golf. It's uh, right at the, like, the intersection of Tucker's Grade and US 41. And just down here, not that far, is going to be your, uh, your range. And uh, like I said, it's about $3 to get in per person. So if you have two people, six bucks, and and I, I like going actually giving the three bucks because it's you're actually giving it for the um, state, you know, to help support you know the conservation department of agriculture. So you know I, I don't mind giving that money for them. Um, some of the ranges, I mean, they're, you know, they're spending like twenty bucks to go inside of like a, an indoor range. Pretty popular out here is shoot straight. That's a pretty uh, popular indoor range, and uh, you know, it's, you know, it's not bad if you're gonna. I mean, I've gone to it when I was actually practicing for uh, my NRA certification, uh, my instructor's license. So I went out and I bought it. I bought it specifically a 22, and I bought a Mark 2245. Oh, actually, a 2245 Mark. Uh, it's a Mark III, and uh, I had that out, and I used that, put a few hundred rounds through there while I was practicing, and, you know, it was pretty good for, uh, for your uh, certification, but, yeah, you're better off actually trying to practice with the gun you're going to use all the time, because then when you have another one, you got to learn it again. Well, we come up here, it's a little envelope, uh, like I said, I'm not even sure if they're open today, because today is Veterans Day. We're going to see, I don't think there's going to be a sign here, 
I see a lot of cars going in there, so I'm thinking it probably is open. I think they would have a sign there if they were closed. It's a little scary. Actually, it's called Babcock Cock Web Management, uh, Wildlife Management. Uh, let's see. Okay, and there's kind of like the... Um, okay, let's check it out now. All right, well, I hear a lot of guns shooting, so I think actually they are, uh, range is open. And see that, I think, uh, this is for hunting season here. They have these big mud grabbers and all that stuff that they use, you know, for kind of neat. Uh, well, let's check in, so I got to check in here, so. Yeah, people, people fish out here and everything, and right now they got those, uh, they're hunting out here, getting ready for hunting season, I guess. So, hit the range now and try the 5.7 out, and I'm not going to put it a lot through. I probably won't even shoot at the target. I just want to make sure everything cycles good on it. And I picked up, actually, a nice set of um, uh, earplugs. They're actually big lots for $2. They work just as good. So, and they, they are actually pretty good. <laughs> so, and we're coming up to the range now here. So, like I say, they got uh, pistol, rifle, um, and shotgun. I don't know how crowded it's going to be, but I don't think it's going to be on Veterans Day. Everybody, a lot of people are out eating and doing other things. I don't think it's going to be that crowded. So let's go here and see. We're turning into the range area now. Okay, I'm going to open the windows here so you can hear some of the guns. Here I'm shooting. There's the pistol area right up there to the right. See it? Yeah. There's not a lot of people out there, so. Okay. Yeah. Right. You gotta go to New York to get pizza. Pizza here is horrible. Where are we living? Pretty good. Oh, it. Is it greasy? Is it greasy? Huh? guys uh just finished my uh shooting of the 57 and uh leaving now these are actually the um my little two dollar lockable uh headset i got here see that kind of neat for two bucks can't beat that for uh i think that's really cool cheap so the 5.7, I put 50 rounds through it right now. I know some people say that's not a lot, but no need in putting shitload in there. I just took it out to, to make sure everything's functioning good, and she cycled 50 rounds without one hiccup. So I was cool with the gun. And, uh, you know, 50 rounds is enough for now. But that is the um, Tucker's grade. We're gonna be coming up, uh, you saw the pistol area coming up on a rifle area here 150 and 200 uh, yard rifle range and then we're going to be heading back out now and uh, you know you go in there you get a little uh, you get this little vehicle vehicle stamp and you put that you know up in your uh, dashboard I went ahead and fired out uh, 
50 rounds. I figured what the heck, I'm going to just fire 50 rounds through it. Uh, the 5.7 was flawless. There's not even much report on that gun. I, I really like it. Uh, you know, it's a great little uh, pistol, definitely. Uh, thing is, you know, just stack it by me ammunition. You really have to look around, but uh, uh, the Mark, uh, Mark II um, feels about the same, but it is a little bit more weight in the slide area on that Mark II. But uh, she fired good. So uh, that's my quick little review of the Mark II. And um, like I say, I got a video there. I tried to give you a close-up of it ejecting the shells and kind of get it close enough where you could hear it firing. Guys, that's a picture of the uh, 5.7 I just took out and fired at the range. Um, that's the Mark II. I shot out the American, uh, American Eagle ammunition. Okay, so... Like I say, everything was flawless on this gun. It fired perfect. Thanks.